I couldn't be bothered to do a video this week, but I guess that's because I'm lazy. And it turns out the Ministry of the Word found out about this and posted a video about the laziness of atheists, which is lazy in itself since he didn't pluralise atheists. Or maybe he meant atheism, I don't know. But let's not be lazy and learn why atheist am lazy. Hello, I'm the Skeptic, the British floating circle that watches people make extraordinary claims and then I explain why I don't accept what they're saying. With over 50,000 subscribers, Ministry of the Word likes to go onto the streets to preach the word of some invisible being that cannot be proved. This video, called The Laziness of Atheist, starts off with some terrible language about who people are and how they can be saved by someone named Chris or something, but then goes on to why atheists are lazy. But before we find out just how idle atheists are, if this isn't your first sceptic video, hit the like, the subscribe and the bell and prove just how lazy atheists are. Minimum effort, maximum return. And a super thanks to those that hit super thanks in some recent videos. Revanstar9167, District Driver, Tabble Turtle and Jason Wild 4899 Lisa the Rainbow Giraffe bestows leaves upon you. More hen. So, let's find... Nah, nah, I can't even be bothered to finish that sentence. I'm too lazy. God is God is perfect, man, and he has beautiful knowledge. So right after this verse, this is what he said. Whoever hates me, hates my father also. Whoever hates me, hates my father also. You believe in Jesus? I actually have some great relationships with some fathers whose sons I don't really like. But I guess you're talking about Jesus and his sky daddy. In which case, you can't hate something you're not convinced exists. I don't hate any gods in the same way I don't hate the tooth fairy. You should. Because you're lazy. You're lazy. Are you an atheist? Are you, are you, if you're an atheist, you're lazy. Because you, you, you're going for the lowest common denominator. You haven't done any research on atheism. You don't know. You don't know the proof of atheism. You, so one day you were drunk at a, at a party, and they're like, "There is no God, man." And you're like, "You, there is no God. That's lazy. That's not intellectual." Atheists will have you believe that they're intellectual, but they don't even study what they believe. Wow. That was a lot to take in in 30 seconds. This is probably why some people shouldn't be given microphones. Maybe he shouldn't tell folks what atheists don't do since he has absolutely no idea and learn what they do do. They have no idea about the geological column. They have no idea about the truth, the true uh, origin of evolution. They have no idea about any of these things. Oh. And I bet you do have answers to all those things. And I bet those answers are, a God did it. I don't know how many times it needs to be said, but atheism has zero to do with columns and evolution and blah, blah, blah. It's simply the position that you're not convinced of a God or gods. Talk about lazy. You clearly haven't done any research, buddy. But they they say that they're smart. Atheists are some of the foolish people on earth. Evolutionists are the most foolish people on earth. They have done no research in anything that they believe. Someone came to them and said, there is no God, and they just believe. They find, they, they, they follow blindly. That's not a very Christian attitude. What is that? What is that? What, what you're saying against people, what is that? You're, you're disparaging them. How is that? You're basically saying that they're unintelligent and they haven't done their research, and that's not a godly Christian attitude to have. Is that true? You should embrace them. Embrace, so embrace their lies of them rejecting Christ and sending people to hell. That's what I should do. Don't even embrace. If you're that concerned about non-believers not accepting a God, offer some good reasons too. Or evidence. Or something. Instead of just insulting people through a big shouty noise box. Anyone can do that. Embrace them and find a common denominator in order to, to have a fair exchange, a, a fair and loving exchange of ideas. Are you an atheist? I am. Okay, so so okay, so this is my love and exchange right now. Okay. So had I not said that, I wouldn't even be talking to you. So it, it kind of worked a little bit, right? Can you give me that? But don't you think it would be more Christian to be understanding? But I, I don't agree with your position, but I respect it. Okay, I I but I don't agree with your position, and I and I don't respect it because it, it kills people. Your position sends people. It not only sends people to spiritual hell. But your, your position actually gives people uh, no hope. Ugh. 
Who wants to tell him that wars throughout time have been over whose invisible friend is more real? Who wants to tell him that some countries will kill you if you don't believe in an undemonstrated floaty sky man? Being an atheist does get people killed, but those people are atheists, and the majority of atheists don't believe in a hell. There's no hope in atheism. It says that we're, we're, just, we're just people of the infinite speck in, in, the, in, a, in a global universe, and we have no meaning. Our life means nothing. We're just purposeless. So actually, you, you're seven. The meaning of life is to be as good as one can be and to leave the earth a better place. Who said that? So the purpose of life is to be as good as I can be and leave the world. So how, wait, wait. So if I'm a drug addict, how does that help me? How are you helping me? If I'm homeless and hungry, how is that helping me? You're, you're not uplifting me. You're not. You're not giving me fruit. You're not. You're, all you're doing is saying almost it's like it's almost like a hippie position. Peace and love, man. Just, just be good and do this. But how are you uplifting me? If I have, if I have ailments, if I, if I was molested, how, how are you helping me with, with that philosophy? How does believing in a god help with any of that either? People who believe in a god help the homeless, but so do secular groups. And with secular groups, it's done just because they're nice people. You don't have to be bribed with belief in some deity to get help from non-believers. What's to say that there isn't another way for that individual to get help? Through psychiatric or psychiatric assistance or therapy. Basically, it's a trying to get an understanding of that inner pain that has led that person to have whatever addiction that they have. It's doesn't come out of nowhere. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So as, as an atheist, what, how, what, what are you offering? You can't just go up to someone with all that pain and say, um, you know, um, just treat, our, treat us how you want to be treated and, and leave the world a better place. You have to meet that person on their level, understand them, and uplift them. And that's what the gospel is. The gospel is saying that, that we, we are, we are a, a creation of God. And God loves us so much that he wants to take us out of that situation. You can't offer any kind of uplifting help without a book that promises things that can never be proven. <laughs> Bull he may as well be clutching at straws rather than that book. His book says maybe if you don't make good choices now, it'll be okay when you're dead. But Secular Help says, let's help you now and make the time we definitely know you have as good as it can be. As an atheist, that doesn't mean that I don't have understanding and care and concern for those of us in humankind that are suffering from for, for things that may have happened to them as a child or even before from as a result of what have, may have happened to the children to their parents childhood yeah. so what you need to do is understand and care I, I do care that's why that's why I'm telling them that they can be children of God and God can transform their life and they'll and they'll and they'll have self-worth I'm actually the gospel is actually handing them self-worth and then look, so, so as an atheist, you believe in evolution, is that correct? Yes. Okay, so ever, this is another problem with atheism. Evolution is, is the process of natural selection, which means just to the strict adherence to natural selection, people in wheelchairs should be killed, or people should be euthanized. Yes, that's what it means. So just, just that's what that's what natural selection is. The strong must survive. The weak, wait, I'm just going to finish this. The weak, the weak must perish for the strong to survive. That's natural selection now. That's in terms of genetics, not how well someone's doing in society. You think people are defined by their physical impairments? That's what evolution believes. That's why I'm saying atheism is is a is a religion of of selfishness and a religion of no hope. He's not making himself look very smart now, is he? And extremely lazy for not looking at what atheism actually is. And it's not like it would take very long. It's just the rejection of a God claim. This is lazy theism at its best. And, and if you truly adhere to atheism and, you, and you're honest with yourself, what is natural selection? The weak must die for the strong to survive. Nope. The traits which help a species to flourish are more likely to be passed on as, you know, they're beneficial. So that means the crippled must die. The, uh, the drug addicts must die. The uh, mentally impaired must die. And when you get too old, you must be euthanized, according to natural selection. Kind of lazy of you to not research how natural selection actually works. This is what you're propagating to all the people in the world as an atheist, as an evolutionist. That's the same thing that they used for, against the Jewish people. They said that the Jewish people had not fully evolved. This is what Hitler did. He, he was an evolutionist. The Jewish people had not fully evolved, so it was okay to kill them. And he spread that all through Germany. And that's, why, that's, that's how the Holocaust happened. So this is, this is what comes out of atheism. I don't think Hitler was an atheist. Okay. He was. That's why he said he said blonde hair and blue eyes. This is the highest the highest form of evolution. 
I'm sorry, but no, he wasn't. Even his uniform had an In God We Trust belt. And evolution is nothing to do with atheism. And this is probably why we really should regulate who has access to a microphone. This dude is clearly misinformed and spreads absolute rubbish. There's blonde hair and blue eyes. This book, Mein Kampf. I will research that. Okay. I, will, I will research what... Sorry, look at the book called Mein Kampf. I got this I've read, I've read Mein Kampf, so... But... I'll, I'll look more into it. Hey, please, please look into this too. So, um, the, the 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 genesis of evolution was Charles Darwin, right? Um, that's is that Charles Darwin? Charles Darwin. Yeah, Charles Darwin. So the original um, title on his book was um, the the origin of species and the preservation of preferred races. So, so, so his his whole this whole process of evolution was to preserve his Aryan race. And then as 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 time um, went on, they, they removed that last part of that book, the last pre- preservation duration, just called an origin of species. So so the, at the essence of atheism, at the essence of evolution, is racism. Oh, jeez. Wow. Evolution isn't a thinking agent. Evolution is a word used to describe a natural process. What a dishonest tactic. You know what is racist? A Christian god. And that's what I'm trying to understand. That's why I'm trying to say that we need so we need to believe in a God, because a God gives us an absolute morality. And and the only reason why we believe in good and evil is because we believe in a God. Without without an entity, without a God, there is there is no good and evil. We should just do what thou wilt will be the whole of the law. I believe in good and evil, but I don't believe in God. But why? That that actually you can't believe in good and evil without 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 without. I can I can prove it to you right now. You, you can't believe in good and evil without believing in God. I think that human beings have a capacity for good and evil and that it is within our own control for no other purposes, not because God, not because I'm going to get a reward in heaven, but simply because being good is the right thing to do. It makes me feel better. It's healthier. And so I choose to be good. I choose to be good for the simple purpose that I want to be good. What is good? Leaving, trying to be kind to everyone around me and uh, trying not to hurt people physically or mentally. You can sum this up in a much simpler way. But this is the opposite of lazy from this lady. She's really trying. What is good? Something that doesn't go against the survival of the species. Boom! Or spiritually, and leaving the place a better world than, than I have found it. Okay, so your parameter for good is leaving the world as a better place than you find it. Yeah. Treating people, this, treating people kindly and this yeah. and that. So what if, what if, so if there's no absolute right, good or right or good, because if there's no God, then, then uh, good and bad is relative. So what if my good is having sex with children? I mean, I don't know why you bring that up. It says a lot about you. <laughs> but again, it goes against the well-being of individuals in our species. That kind of action can have severe mental effects, which will, over time, affect the species as a whole. It's not difficult mate why why if, if that's if that's if that's how i feel and that's good to me why can't i do that if there's no absolute morality if there's absolute uh, right or wrong i should be able to do whatever i want and as long as long as this child consents leave me alone i feel it's good i hope this guy never stops believing in a god it sounds like the only reason he doesn't abuse children is because he thinks a god would be annoyed however i really don't think the god is against child abuse it likes throwing kids against rocks for crying out loud and the god certainly doesn't try to stop child abuse in any of its religious warehouses so if the god existed it would be lazy so my premise is is being good right my premise is being good is not doing harm Having sex with children is causing harm. Therefore, it is not good. Why, why, is it, why is it causing harm? If you have to ask, then there's a real problem. Because it's causing, ch- it's causing harm to the child. What if they consent? Uh, one, would, one could argue that children may not have all of their capacities and all of the knowledge that they need to know whether or not to determine whether what those actions are appropriate or not. But if they do consent and I think it's good, then it's okay. You are pushing for this way too much and it's absolutely terrifying. I think that ultimately a person would know that they're doing harm. Um, so just, just to use this as an example, Muhammad had a, had a, nine-year-old, uh, a nine-year-old bride and, and, people, and there's billions of people that follow him because they believe he's good. So, so by, that, by, by your logic, it, it goes back to what I'm saying. If there's, there's no absolute right or wrong, then right or wrong is, is, on the per, is incumbent on the person. So it means that my right or wrong, my, I'm basically we're on, we're on, we're on, we're on our own guy. <laughs>
I'm sorry, you've lost it now. You can almost see how his brain is falling apart as he tries to piece together some kind of atheist child abuse thing. My right or wrong is what I believe is right or wrong. Your right or wrong is what you believe is right or wrong. But we can't live life like that because serial killers believe that what they are doing is right. They're saying, a lot of, I'm just saying, a lot of people saying, just like my homosexuals say they were born that way, a lot of serial killers say, I was born like this. Since I was a kid, I was killing animals, I was killing rabbits. So we need an absolute barometer for morality or there's no civil, there's no civilization. So, are you also saying that there's only one true God and there's a Christian God? Yes. I'm saying there's, there's only one true God and, and all of the gods are are, are counter, are, are uh, opposing to that God. So like, so there's, but I believe there's only two gods. I believe that there's, there's a good there's a good and evil. Just like on Earth, you need a good and evil to make a light bulb coming on. You need a negative and a positive. Can that barometer not be what society deems acceptable with a humanist justice system that punishes things that go against human well-being? I wonder if there could ever be a system like that. Oh, hang on. This argument is boring and lazy. Trying to say good things can't happen without a magical judge, therefore there must be a magical judge, is not evidence for a magical judge. So I believe there's only one good, God is good, and everything else is just a variation of that evil entity. So, so, um, and only way, and only, and this is how I can tell. Every, every, every God, if you want to call him that, that doesn't, every person that doesn't subscribe to Jesus Christ, has a has a work based a work based faith. Cool story, bro. Can you demonstrate your God yet, though? They, good deeds get you in. Praying five times a day gets you in. Going to see a priest gets you in. But we believe that God is so powerful that all we gotta do is believe in Him and He gets us in. So we believe in Him and also we believe in the Holy Spirit, which transforms our nature, where we become good according to God's standard. What's the importance of getting in? Into heaven. But what's the importance of being in heaven? What do you mean important? Why, why, why is it so important for you to go to heaven? Because I love God and I want to be with God for eternity. <laughs> sure, I want to be with a being that no one has ever seen. A being that kills people for dumb reasons. A being that explains how to own and treat people. A being that is abusive and abuses you for not accepting that it's higher than you. A being that doesn't exist and be with it for the rest of time huh that wins dumbest things on the internet today surely almost like why is it that's like asking me why is it so important that i that i go home to my wife or go home to my child because i love my child and i want to be with him as much as i can and after what you said earlier no maybe i shouldn't finish that but i bet you're thinking it too so i love god 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 uh took me out of the darkness and, and brought me into the light and there's nothing i can do to repay him how do you know it was a god and not just you thinking it was a god so i just want to be with him i just want to do whatever i, I want to do whatever he says so i can live with him in eternity but isn't god with you regardless yes on earth right now he's with me right now he's speaking through me to to you right now yeah he is that's what i'm saying so why why the importance of getting into heaven if god is in you because god right now is, is in me in a filtered form it's almost like he's filtering through all this physical this, all this flesh seriously as a non-believer i just listen to this and think how on earth do you actually convince yourself of this ridiculousness so it's not pure unadulterated god because if, if god was in me in the fullness of god i could walk on water i could touch you right now I could, I could touch you right now and heal you because that's the power of god so right now this is god filtered through a fleshly and everything that I, and also everything that i did in my past it, it, it's it's uh that's not what I'm saying. Listen, listen with your ears, not with your mouth. What I'm hearing is this God isn't powerful enough to make everyone powerful enough to heal away disabilities. Okay, then. So, yeah, so, so God is filtered through, through the flesh, that's why. I, I would prefer to live in a world where God, if there is a God, is with us at all times and speaks through our actions at all times. I, I have problems with this thought that we have to wait for heaven. Why can't we be good every day in our environment? Amen. Sake. Great question. And this is what Jesus Christ says. Our Father which art in heaven, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Tell me you weren't listening without telling me you weren't listening. So by following Jesus, you're actually bringing heaven to earth because these are Jesus' precepts. If someone slaps you, turn the other cheek. Okay, but if someone takes your coat, um, give them your staff also. If someone asks you to go one mile, go with them too. So if we all did that, they, heaven would be on earth. God's kingdom would be on earth. 
But you, then you gotta ask yourself why. There's more evidence for God than to the contrary. If there was more evidence for a God, don't you think it would be irrefutable? Don't just vomit words out of your mouth, dude. Prove a God. Stop being lazy. Wow. So he just said atheists are lazy, but didn't offer anything to explain why. Just a bit of name calling. Is that ad hominem, Dave? <laughs> Shh, Kent, please. Nothing here that says why I'm a lazy atheist. I feel like I have good reasons not to believe in a God, but perhaps this dude will never accept that and will keep blurting out assertions until the day he joins his non-existent, invisible murder friend in the sky. Are we allowed to throw water over sound equipment if we see a street preacher? I'm just asking for a friend. Do you think atheists are lazy? Let me know in the section below. I would skeptic this as something, but I'm just too lazy, I guess. A big thank you to this month's top level ticks on Patreon. Addy Rockart, The Enixes, Elizabeth, Jukari, Mark, and the absolute lunatics, Jimmy and Travis, as well as all the $3 base ticks. You can become a supporter on Patreon too at patreon.com slash the skeptic. The link is in the description, along with links to all my other socials. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. From me, the skeptic, stay safe, keep thinking logically, and ask questions. Skepticism is the first step towards truth. See you next Saturday.